Hey guys, this is Chase, CEO of a virtual and admin on Virtual Airline Solutions page on Facebook. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install PHP VMS, which is the premium virtual airline management system, onto a free host such as Zimic. So right now, you just want to go to Zimic.com, uh, sign up for everything, it'll send you a confirmation email. Uh, you type in your password that you want, everything will bring you to this page. You click I agree for everything, I agree, I agree. Uh, you type in the CAPTCHA and create your new website account. So right now it's going to load a bit. And the email that you signed up with, it's going to send you an email to that, e uh, an email to that email. Okay, so now that you've signed up, you are successfully in with Zimic. I kind of moved a bit fast there, but if you have any questions with signing up for Zimic, this is fairly easy, explainable. You just use your common sense, get to Zimic.com. Sign up for your web page, do everything I just did right there, and you should get this email with the email you signed up with. So it tells you everything you need. So now you want to go to uh, log into control panel. So now that you're here, you're going to go to control panel home, uh, log into the website you just registered. Give me a little error there. One second, please. So just type in the password you use to sign up with and do control panel login. Wait. Oh, sorry. One second. I'm a bit tired right here, so I might be entering stuff wrong in. But uh, bear with me for a moment. There we go. Now it's going to redirect you to your cPanel homepage. This is the main page of where you're going to be monitoring stuff. So let me just disconnect from there. So now you have your domain right here, HTTP, and then a colon slash slash testvirtualairline.zxq.net. Now don't use this do um, don't use that domain. Uh, make your own. As I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. And once you get to this page, you're basically set. So now we have a blank domain with nothing on it, but we want to put something on it. We want to put PHP VMS on it. So PHP VMS. Is a simple virtual airline management system created by a very smart programmer named Nabil. Uh, he can help you with anything on the forms. That's why I love this virtual airline management system. And right now, it's perfect for virtual airlines. Pirate system, a car system, uh, tracking system, uh, flight schedules, pilots ranking, financing system. It's just perfect for a virtual airline that wants to get off the ground and excel even further to success. So right now you're going to go to the download page in the download uh, bar and tap. Download the full version. I've already done that. So once you download it, it should come as a zip file. You're going to unzip it and go into the folder. Uh, you now have all your PHP VMS files right here. So right now you're going to need FTP to upload all these files. FTP is a simple file managing tool. I use Cyberduck, but you can get FileZilla. Just download them by typing in their names into Google and download it from there. It's pretty self-explanatory that too. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, you want to uh, look at this stuff right here, this FTP stuff you're going to need. So the host, you're going to copy that. Open connection. Crap, sorry. Oh my god. Open connection. Copy that into server. Then your username is what it gives you over there. Password the password you use to sign up with. So it's going to authenticate you and get you in. This might take a moment. If it takes longer than a couple minutes or it gives you any errors, you need to contact your hosting. Uh, they're pretty easy to contact. So now you're going to be greeted with basically nothing but a little index HTML file which does nothing. So now you're going to want to drag all your PHP VMS files into this. Continue. And this might take a bit, so I'm going to go take a break and come back when it's ready. Guys, it's Chase. I'm back. Uh, we have all the files uploaded to the FTP server and we're ready to begin. So now that we have all the files uploaded to the FTP server, you're going to simply go to the domain of your airline. So mine would be test airline, no, test virtual airline.zxq.net slash install. You're going to put a slash install, which goes you're going to the install folder and then install.php. Okay, so you're probably going to get greeted with this error right here. 
It's a simple fix. Uh, you need to kmod some of the directories. So we're going to go to a simple tool called netfdp. We're going to enter our domain here. So my domain is test virtual airline dot zxq dot net. Then we're going to do test virtual airline underscore zxq. Type in the password you used. And we're using net to FTP, so a web-based FTP client. So make note of that. Hoping I entered everything cor in correctly. There we go. Okay, so now we're in. All you're going to do is select this file right here and check that file right there. No, lib and core. Kmod. And you're going to do read, write, and execute. So 777 set all permissions check all these boxes for each one and then click the check mark so as we wait for that to um, be done this tutorial is really geared to airlines who are using Weebly which has zero functionality whatsoever I don't think you can personally I don't think you can run a virtual airline using contact forms as in place of pirates and no, not even password protected web pages I mean if you're going to use Weebly, I'd use cough, at least cough up some money to buy some of the premium features. Don't just be cheap. This is also for people using things such as Google Sites, which is not even, even close to even being as functional as Weebly, and Weebly has zero functionality. Um, Google Sites, you can't even uh, file Pyrep. You can't even put in HTML most of the time. usually sticks with you with a template. So this might take a while to load. Um... My airline, we use some paid hosting and domain. So after you have a strong following and a strong core, I advise you to actually pay for a domain, link it up with your Zimic account, uh, change the name servers and everything, uh, or bad pay hosting, and do the same process over again with PHP VMS, except I want you to back up all your files to that. So after you have a strong following, like my virtual airline, I consider highly consider buying a domain. Another bad website tool to use is Jimdo or Jimdo. I can I can't pronounce it. Um, it's really bad too. It's even worse. The layout's terrible. The design's terrible. It's so unorganized. And I know a couple airlines like Saint Wolf Jet use Jimdo and uh, AAPA by Uncle Sam, but those still have zero functionality. And it's just totally ridiculous to be using Weebly, Weebs, um, any of those free web pages because I believe. That building a VA takes a strong core, dedication, effort, and a passion for it. And I think that paying money shows you really care and you're really dedicated and that your VA is official and you're looking for success rather than being a virtual airline that lasts for one month, uses Weebly, has zero active pilots. Also, uh, using PHP VMS also guarantees you more pilots because you'll be gain access to advertising in the PHP VMS forum which got me a couple pilots actually so last time this didn't take me as long to load but probably will since we're k-modding a lot of files so just bear with us for a moment I'll come back when it's done hey guys it's Chase I'm back I came out came out of all the files the applicable files and now we should be good so now you're just gonna go to the same URL which is the install URL and you're gonna be get uh, given this page called database setup. This is where we're going to set up the core infrastructure of your airline. So to set up a database, simply go to your Zimic hosting cPanel, which you should still have up. Uh, go to database management. Name your database. I'm going to name mine Tut. Short for tutorial. Wait for it to load. Okay, now reload the page. It should take you back. You should have the database Tut created. Now I'm going to create a username Tut. Password tutorial. Oh, I right. Tutorial. Create the user. This is all necessary for using this. So do that. And again, reload the page. Now you're going to give that user all the rights to the database. So the privileges. So select all these privileges. Select the user. Select the database name and click assign privileges. Okay, so now we've done all that, we should be really good to go with the PHP VMS installer. So now we're going to go to the page again. The database name is 
the name of the database you just used. So mine, just copy and paste it to prevent any errors. Localhost is your server if you're using Zimic, if you're using Zero Zero Webhost or any other kind of hosting company, free hosting company, whether it be paid or uh, free, you're going to put a different thing there. Sometimes we'll put localhost. So for your username, you're going to want to put, um, put again, this name right here. So 84088. Uh, so let me put that in. Make sure it's all right. 7 and then underscore cut. Make sure you use this underscore button instead of that dash. So put in your uh, password, select your database type, table prefix, and click next. So it might take a bit to load and it will install all the tables successfully. So now that's just installing all the data in, ready to be used. Continue to the next step. So what we're going to put in is your first name, so my first name, your last name, last name, your email, test email at testtutorial.org, your password, just make up a password for some reason, okay, so your virtual airline name, uh, this is going to be called the t tutorial virtual airlines and TVA. Okay, so now you're all set up. Go to the front page. By going to here. Hold up. Sorry. Make sure you... It's case sensitive. So now you are all set up and you're ready to begin your virtual airline career. This is set up on a Zimic host. Uh, I hope this tutorial was in-depth enough for you. And I hope it uh, really guided you all to getting your virtual airline off the ground. So they, basically this is your first step into the virtual airline world. Next time we're going to be coming back to skin it, change the logo, change the colors, change the theme and everything. And really get serious with your virtual airlines looks. After that we're going to go work on to advertisements and using PHP VMS Admin Center by Alex. And after that um, you'll be basically set for your virtual airline and begin advertising and stuff like that. So basically this is your home page now. You have the option to log in. There's a register. Of course, when you um, um, get enough pilots, they will all show up in the pilots thing. Uh, the live map, it's just a live map for your ACAR system. And once you begin scanning, you can add more uh, um, bars in your nav bar. So more tabs in your nav bar. And you can change the news and everything around here. So this is basically how it's really done here. And I'm going to try to... No, I'm not going to log in yet. But basically, this is it. You can log in with the things you used, and that's how you use it. You can manage everything still from Zimic. If you want to edit any files, just go to your FTP, and you can edit any files there. But we'll go more in-depth on file editing soon. So basically, you just got your first PHP VMS virtual airline site up, and this is your first step. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was more in-depth than my previous written ones. And if you have any questions, please use the comments on Facebook to ask questions. Um, if you have any questions about my virtual airline at hand, our website is a virtual.me. I hope most of you, uh, some of you, if you don't feel like doing virtual airline CEO, uh, you will sign up if you have FSX, X Plane 10, and Flight Gear. Also, I also advise you signing up for AirTran Virtual by Alex. Their uh, website domain is atvirtual.x10.mx. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, this is Chase Reed, CEO of A Virtual, wishing you good luck and goodbye. See ya.